Hi and welcome back to my wazo. My name is Mombi Wanjiro, joined by John Wagatua. Why are you so happy? I'm happy because we want to talk something good. <laughs> okay, I love this one. <laughs> pause. Why should I pause? We I love it. Not... <laughs> Get off. I didn't say stop, I said pause. We'll oh. continue. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My name is Mombi Wajiro, and here we're talking about sex. Yes. And today, specifically. Today. Oh okay, my say god. Say it because you're so excited. Say what you're talking about. Squatting. Kami. Ogazi. Oh my god. This is one of the best things to do. You know, you know why I love orgasm and squatting? Eh? Because it's one way to reduce stress. It, it's like a way whereby um, th th there is a word that is used. This word that is used to, to talk about, uh, let me say it in simple words because I'm forgetting the, the complex terms. Eh? Mm. Ile mind yako ni kama ina refresh. Unaona venye unafinya computer hile but on ya refresh. Reset to factory settings. Yes. He, let me tell you. Squatty mm -hmm. can make you do that now. You, it's like now you restart the system. Mm -hmm. It restarts even your brain. Mm -hmm. That is the power mm -hmm. that is contained mm -hmm. in squatting. Mm -hmm. No, no, most people don't even understand that even men do yes. reach orgasm. Yeah. That yeah. Uh, they don't even know about the men yeah. them reaching orgasm. Yeah. They just think men just come mm -hmm. or ejaculate. That is the end of it. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you. Ndiyo mwelewe, iyo enye muna amujuagi wanaume ni nini. Mm. Usha izikia manaume na mesema, nilimuaga nili baka bon malos. Mm. Mm? I calmed even my bone marrows. Eh? I felt as if everything that I have in my For being... For me, I think it feels like an out-of-body experience. It's like your soul leaves your body. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a very... I don't know. I don't know how it's, it's like a terrestrial experience. It's something that involves your spirit, your mind, every aspect of your body. They, they are all of them corrected together. Then they are all of them brought down here. And then they go to the mind, they go to the toes. Mm. Every part of your body is connected mm. and then you release it. Oh my God. Mm. That means for a man, and mm. the reason why I've said it that way, so that men can understand. Mm. If the weather reached that point, then know that you did ejaculate. At the same time, you did have an organism. Mm. But for a man who is trained, because a man can train, to reach orgasm without ejaculating. Yes. Yes. Just like we talk about aging, yes. there is a way you can reach orgasm. Yan unaskia yo mwindiyako kila kitu im move in a special in that whatever terrestrial mm -hmm. movement that you have and you feel that you have really been well nourished and satisfied. Eh? Mm -hmm. And but you don't ejaculate. Mm -hmm. Although that one calls now again for a lot of control. Yes. You need to do a lot of uh, Kegel, mm. because for women it is called kegel. The, the difference is just an A and an E mm. after the G. For men it is kegel. Mm -hmm. That is the only difference. Mm. If you are able to do those exercises, ata kujikojorea ile unonanga viatu ikona shining droplets mm. mbili pale chini, mm. that is top, that's so it's not stop. normal that when a man pees, what he's saying is when a man pees, uh, instead of having projectile, yeah, projectile urination, it goes down here it unless doesn't... unless you have an issue mm -hmm. uh, with the the edging of the urethra yeah. the end of the urethra or the opening of the urethra mm -hmm. if it is not that issue then mm -hmm. you should be able to project mm -hmm. although with age that uh, that power you know those things that we used to do as boys <laughs> oh you be here then you should <laughs> we we aim at a tree that is the branch. Everyone is in the other <laughs> You know those things I've come to realize? Boys. You know, you know, if I find my boy doing that, I'll even encourage you. be very happy. son. I will even now be able to mark for him. Why? Because I know it is going to help him in the future. Mm. And if a man is able to do kegel exercises, mm. let me tell you, he will have one of the best orgasm. Mm. 
He will have because you are able. What is it? you know? Most people, I don't know whether you understand the muscles that are involved mm-hmm. with this Kegel exercise. Mm-hmm. Because if you want also as a lady to have very powerful orgasm, to have very powerful squatting, baka mm-hmm. kunyonya. Have you ever been surplus even in kama kiboko? I know you can do that. Ah, we're an expert. I know you can do that. Nasi jachoma. <laughs> whereby, yeah. whereby the man is there and then you are ananyonywa. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He's mm-hmm. sanctioning. It's mm-hmm. a sanction. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. you're pulling a straw. Yes. Like no, the way you, suck, you suck a straw on a straw. Yeah. That one is another thing that makes... The reason why you can be able to do that as a lady repeatedly is when you are able to do Kegel exercises. Mm. So, how do, what is the Kegel exercise? Kegel exercise is whereby you target a particular muscle. This muscle connects the edge of, you know, your um, backbone. Because mm-hmm. that's in the between exam. yeah between your ass down there so that is where imenda imekuwa konda mm. for those people who have checked the anatomy unaona venye hiyo kitu imeenda backbone penye imeishia mm. and up here you have now the pelvic bone mm. so which muscle there is a very strong muscle that connects both of them it is in a car c mm. in a car like a semicircle mm. that muscle mm. and then this muscle when it connects this both imepitia kwa njia yako ya haja kubwa and then it has passes it passes through even you um it passes through your vagina mm-hmm. then as well it goes up in a kuja mpitia paka kwa crete all the way inaenda paka inafika kwa pelvic bone yeah. so this muscle is the one that you exercise when you exercise it you get the control and you are able to have very powerful orgasms mm. so i want people to understand something mm-hmm. very clearly mm. because mostly Mostly people assume that sex just involves you, the penis and the vagina. Yeah. Then people only know the um, external structure of these sex organs. Mm-hmm. You see, this is the shaft and the balls. Yes. Yeah. And then you see the vagina, you know, there's the, the labia majora, the larger lips, outer lips, labia minora, the inner lips, smaller lips, the clitoral hood, mm-hmm. then the clit, mm-hmm. and the urethra. Yeah. Inside the vagina, do you know there's a whole other whole architectural system <laughs> that is in there? You know there is even some cribs yes, that, that, yes, that, that yes. even the sperms once they are released, they can live there can for hide. up to three days. Yes, 72 hours. And as you can see, they are ready. They are ready. They are ready. So there is a lot of yeah. So anatomy. for you to be able to really understand what an orgasm is and how to make your woman or you as a woman how to squat, you really need to know how your body is made. Yeah. Because there's a time I mentioned here, John. Mm-hmm. Some people don't know where their G spot is. Yeah, of course. And I also mentioned, uh, popular to uh, like contrary to popular um, notion or mm-hmm. understanding, what you need to please me as a woman. Because you you once said that you don't need to go deep to find you know yeah, yeah, you, yeah. those those strokes don't have to be so deep. deep. Yeah, I don't know what you're looking deep. for there. What you need to please me as a woman is at the doorstep. It's the welcome mat is my G spot. The, the the one that part of the vulva and myself I don't call it a vagina because sometimes I find vagina shallow. I call it the vulva the vul- because the vulva contains the outer part as well as all the the vagina canal up to the cervix. Mm. Because now the cervix now and that the is the cervix like, and the vagina are two different things. Yeah, two different two things. Different because things. because even the vagina, most people don't even know it doesn't yeah. open. Mm. The opening is this small. Yeah. The opening the is this. The cervix only opens when a woman is giving birth. Yes. yes. If the opening is this small mm. f- to allow the flow of the menstrual cycle mm. as well as to allow the, the, the sperms to go through. Mm. Otherwise, there is nothing else. Even your nini, dick, it, it cannot go through. Mm. But it can go around it. Mm. Because in a kongi And that is where there is another spot called the S-spot. Yes, there is another spot what? on Upande Wajua, Wanini, Wasavix. When the lady is looking on top, there's another part there that is called the air spot. John. I feel like <laughs> <testifying>. <laughs> that is where the air spot is. At the where the vagina the vaginal canal ends and where the cervix begins. I think we, we should we'll have that str- Okay. Look at it this way. Let me just paint a mental picture. Yeah. Look at it this way. You're going to you're going somewhere. Yeah. There's a series of tunnels. It's yeah. one road yes. leading to one place. Yes. It's a series of tunnels. Mm-hmm. Before you, when you enter, when you just get to the door, 
that is the outer outer part of the vagina, the entrance. The vestibule. Yes. What's the mouth. The, the mouth of the vagina. The mouth. Yes. Uh -huh. That is better. Stop intimidating us with vestibule. So, <laughs> <laughs> so the mouth of the vagina, where the, now the vagina starts. Yeah. You enter that tunnel. That's mm. the first tunnel. Yeah. When you enter that tunnel, you go through that tunnel. That's the vaginal canal. That's the first tunnel. When the vaginal canal ends, you start another tunnel. The entrance to that tunnel is what he's calling the cervical opening, which never opens unless a baby is coming out or unless there's a medical condition. Yeah. It does not naturally open unless you're giving birth or you have an issue. When you enter that entrance, that is the cervix. Yeah. That is the road where the baby comes from. Uh, it goes now all the way to the fallopian tubes yes. and to the uterus. When you leave the cervix, the next tunnel is where your womb or your uterus is. Yeah. And then now it branches because I know everyone knows that the uterus is like this. This mm. is not the uterus. Those are fallopian tubes. <laughs> These are fallopian where tubes. The ovums. These are fallopian tubes. And this is where the ovum is. Yeah. So please understand that. I understand hope next anatomy. time uh, we look for a chart. We, we we, I think we chart. need to have a chart so that we can explain this anatomy yeah. so that at least some people can understand. Mm. And uh, for the reason why someone will ask me, why would a man need to do the exercise, the pelvic uh, exercise? One thing is that where is and this a question I asked in a conference of a hundred men and I asked them and I was giving a thousand mm. A thousand Chilling. yes uh -huh. mutu and ipatia, the root uh -huh. of the penis where it is they don't know and it <laughs> just as you said yeah they just know but, the shaft and but, the balls. but where is the root mm. the root is on that that crescent i was telling you mm. it is it that is the root ile maso nilikwambia ile pelvic maso hapo ndipo imejishikilia kwa hiyo root na unasikia hiyo maso imeenda all the way ika connect na spinal cord upande huu mwingine nayo imeconnect to your pelvic bone so once you understand some of these structures now you can be able now to reach to help your person reach orgasm by the way before we go deeper because now i think we are going to anatomy what are the reasons that make you not reach orgasm reason number one, trying too hard i know Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I was supposed I was about to say something very silly, but I, No, you I can't think, say it. The reason I really emphasize, and I think so many people when they ask me about where the G spot is, I ask people, what do you know about the vagina? What do you know about your dick? Because I think the most 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 common misconception mm. or rather let me just call it it's common ignorance. Yeah. You know there's common sense? <laughs> which is not common to everyone but there is common ignorance which is common i think to everyone yeah because we who are not okay fine doctors know because they've learned uh, human anatomy mm -hmm. but one thing i want you to understand the dick the shaft yeah and the balls yeah those are just symptoms let me call it in case of a disease or illness those are just symptoms of a disease mm -hmm. if you want to treat the disease you must know what caused it, mm -hmm. where it came from. Yeah. When you start coughing, there's flu, there's a cold, you go to a doctor and tell you, oh, you have bacterial infection, fungal infection. How do they know? Because they... That's why you're having fever. Exactly. Yeah. So before you start saying, we focus so much on this physical anatomy, mm -hmm. we don't check what's inside. Where did it come from? Because my whatever you know is on top or outside of my vagina contributes very little. To me coming squatting or having an orgasm. And that's why I'm telling you, you find someone is trying too hard mm. to do it. Anajaribu, anajaribu, anajaribu. When you try too hard, you end up missing it because you are even stressing yourself. Mm. Unajukuta, unaji stress. Why are you stressing yourself? And frustrating yourself. Well, yani, oh, you know what? Hey, I think I'm a weak woman. I'm already CG35. I've never squatted. My friend. Some of these things kuna siku zita happen and when it will happen back with okay, No, not even older women. Let me just tell you. If it when it happens the first time, especially the squatting, okay, orgasm first of all, it is shocking. It is earth shattering, it changes the mind of all world economies. <laughs> climate changing it but, 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 uh, in yeah, simple it, terms, it catches you by surprise but in simple terms for women mm. what is orgasm mm. because maybe i might say it and then they're like oh, are you a woman <laughs> <laughs> no it's just the same for both men and women it's it's it feels like an outer body experience okay you know sex 
you love sex, you do sex, and you come every time you have sex. But once you get to a point of reaching orgasm, it's a point of, first of all, a lot of vulnerability. Because you lose your mind. Mm -hmm. For a few seconds, you lose your mind. Mm -hmm. And, and of, actually, orgasm lasts different for different people. Yeah. And orgasm lasts differently for different times of having sex. Do you know what you're talking about, losing your mind? Mm -hmm. I'll tell you a fact. It is the prefrontal cortex of the mind that crosses down. What does prefrontal uh, cortex do? It is what controls the inhibition, the good manners. You knowing that yeah. this is the time to say sorry. You're prone the, to suggestion. Uh, this is and, the time yeah. to say excuse me. This is the time to say thank you. You see that part of the brain that controls that inhibitions. Mm -hmm. It closes down. Yeah. So that is why you find even yourself you can shangiria. You can say <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah. you can say all these things <laughs> when you're reaching <laughs> that shangiria, point. Shangiria, shangiria and then like and that. then unless someone records you. Yeah. And then they tell they come and tell you that uruko shangiria ni kama tu kuharusi. And that's why you say you say things you don't okay maybe you mean them but you would not normally say yeah you would not like, normally say I love you in a normal circumstances you call people daddy <laughs> <laughs> and men ask you who's your daddy <laughs> I will say my father's name. What will you do? <laughs> Moving on swiftly. Yeah. So an orgasm feels very differently from coming because coming is just your genitalia. Yeah. Orgasm, you feel it everywhere. Your spine, your mind. It's like all your nerves. The are whole awakened. system of you. Yeah. The the whole part of you, the whole body of you yeah. gets connected yeah. towards this one action. Like it's everything, your mm -hmm. hands, your body, your, mm -hmm. your ears, your nose, your sense, all your mm -hmm. senses, they all get connected mm -hmm. to this one yes. particular thing. Mm -hmm. And that is why it is always very, very powerful. Mm -hmm. And uh, most of the time it is accompanied by movement of muscles, mm -hmm. even down there. Yeah. The muscles will Contra. move like you, you, you know, the, the, the spasm, it's like mm -hmm. real good spasm. Mm -hmm. It is spasm, yes, but they are sweet. Yeah. Very sweet spasm. Yeah. But now, to differentiate it with squatting, and because most of people, I'm not a lady, but this one I will differentiate, and then she will correct me if I'm wrong. Squatting, first of all, let's get it very clear. Squatting now is that fluid. And where does this fluid come from? And if you say it is pee, it is not pee. Yeah. And from my experience, and no senior did it taste your nanny. With me, that liquid that comes out tastes like glucose. Hallelujah. Yes, that water. How do you taste it? You to taste. If you do it with your fingers, you're touching the G spot, eh? Ukubali kumagiki hapa taste it. Or even during oral sex, she may come in your mouth. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, some, for some people, like I said last time, yeah. squatting is different. It's different in terms of volume. Some women come a lot, or even women who are used to squatting, you don't always squat the same volume every time. Yeah, that's you, true. Sometimes you squat just a little bit, sometimes you squat a lot, sometimes just just average, sometimes you don't at all. So it's possible to have orgasm. Because you have pressure, what you have pressure, you must make this No, 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 you're squatting. I usually say it's not P. And that's yeah, why I can even not. taste it. Why? Because and it is um, like glucose. I don't know why I doubt you, but it's fine. Kitu ya kwanza maji na kwanga safi kama maji amvua. Yeah. Kitu cha pili hiyo maji, your pee will stain your bed sheet. Yeah. But this water does not stain. The other thing is that this water it does not have even a little bit of a smell, yeah. but your pee has a smell. Mm -hmm. True or not true? Of course, it might be mixed up with retro pee because they're using the same urethra. Mm -hmm. But one thing I want you to understand is that the ground where this water comes from, because it does not come from bladder, it comes from a ground that is called Skinny's ground. It was discovered by a German called Alexander Skinny's. All it is called paraurethra gland. This gland is inside. You see, the, this canal. Eh? This is the the, the opening. Eh? Mm. This is the opening mm. of the the vagina or the the vastopine. Mm. Two inches in, and that is why when you use this finger, mm. two inches in, upande waju. Unona. Two inches in, upande waju. Utaskia mahali ambapo ni kama pako na pimples. You know, it's a place as if you have some pimples. Reaches. Yes, it, it's a bit rough. You just put your finger in on top if she's facing upward. Eh? Wherever it is, 
here up here it is the pipe that uh, now comes from the brother goes away and i think that's why we need the chart now this pipe comes or opens on top just directly on top this is the urethra opening in between now the g spot and this pipe that is where you have the paraurethra gland and that is when you are touching this part paraurethra gland now in release to dots Inanza ku release to dogo to dogo to dogo to dogo yeah to dogo to dogo to naingia sasa kwa urethra until a point whereby the urethra cannot hold any more it's like you're pressed and you see now yeah. on the on the urethra upande huu brada kuna valve as you continue touching the G spot the more droplets will continue pouring in and that is why even in some styles actually kuna some styles utafanya mumbi yeah. and as you're doing them your dick is passing over the G spot mm. and so you are stimulating and you know do you know by the way that you are clitoral actually do you know there are three types of orgasm by the way yes there's the clitoral orgasm the, the, the vagina orgasm and the suffix organism and i think that is what you are talking about pale ivo mbele ile the A spot the A spot and by the way for most people who have never reached the A spot if you want to reach it let her come on top nakukuja on top siku kukalia you know i, I don't know most women don't, don't even know why they mm. come easier when they are on top most women know okay when i'm on top yeah. i come easier and I, it's better my orgasm is better they don't even know why but I, I, i tend to think it is because they are on control with me yeah domin- dominance yes yeah. being being the one who's dominating mm-hmm. but also where and how because when i'm on top i'm in control of how i move so yeah. I, I i want if the dick touches a certain part and i feel it's good i will continue with that motion i will continue with that position yeah whether in reverse cowgirl or just direct uh, cowgirl and uh, i tend to think okay there is so many reasons why people don't get orgasm i'd say one is you try too much the other one is uh, you're too anxious and there are people who reach to that point of squatting and then i don't know whether you've ever had this and maybe maybe you've ever had there is someone has ever told me in a in a session you know what john mimi kuna mahali nafika kana sikia kuhususu na mwambia acha tu niende nikasusu when when you get to a point where you feel like peeing don't stop pee pee and there's one thing i i want to tell women why have you said to pee because it's not pee Ah, thank you. It's not pee. It's that it's that squat that wants to come out or that liquid that wants to come out. Squatting actually is not the liquid. Squat is not the liquid. Squatting means to spill, to spill, yeah. to gush out. Yeah. So squatting is the motion with which the liquid comes out. Yeah. So when you feel like that sensation of, of pee, mm-hmm. just pee. Okay, just I'd let your body lead you. Yes. Also, there's something I want people to understand about squatting. If you want to comfortably to comfortably squat. Uh we are so used that when a man is inside of us or when we have a penis inside of us, we want to do kegels, you know, and squeeze it. That works for you, right? Mm-hmm. It helps you. Yeah. If I get to a point of squatting or when I'm about to have an orgasm as a woman, the best way and the most um pleasurable way is to not squeeze him but push out do the motion like you know when you when you press and you want to pin you push out right yeah. so your your vagina opens wider and i want us to also tell them that when a woman is aroused the vagina deepens and widens mm-hmm. right yeah so you when you when you push you do that pushing motion with your vagina Mm-hmm. you push out it's like you're trying to push the dick out not literally but that's what you you're trying to push out the dick with the muscles pushing, now with yeah. the muscles of your vagina yeah you you expose the a the a spot mm-hmm. it comes you you expose it so it it comes it opens up and comes down a bit mm-hmm. it also uh exposes your your g spot yeah. to the shaft yes yeah yeah another way i wanted to say that you were telling people where the g spot is and all that you should understand that okay the easiest way of finding a g spot you said it is rough right mm. it is not rough like sandpaper <laughs> what he means by it has some ridges like bumps little bumps yes. it's, it's inside there it's very smooth and soft it's like the side of your the inside of your cheek okay it's even softer than that mm. but if you want to find it uh take your finger do is your key finger clean you're not going to touch me i'm just <laughs> 
Disclaimer. Oh, are you quick? Are you? Do you Disclaimer. want us to do practicals? No, we don't do practicals. Okay, this one is but on yourself. Okay. Okay. Put it in your mouth like this. The top, the roof of your mouth. Mhm. You, you feel those ridges? Yeah. That is how it feels. But it's softer and smoother, right or wrong? That is very good. I just wanted to, or even with your tongue, you don't even have to use your finger. But if you touch your tongue on the roof of your mouth, yeah, you'll feel there are some bumps. Yes. That is how, when you touch inside the vagina, at, at on the top, top there, yeah, at the upper part here, yeah, up here, you will feel those ridges. And when we are saying on top, it's when she's facing also on she's, top. Yeah. She, if she's, she's lying on my back. If it's doggy style, or she's laying on her stomach, of course it's. You don't go like this. Because mm-hmm. I think most people want to, when they penetrate, they just want to go directly, straight. Oh, so yeah. if she's lying on her stomach, try to penetrate down, then up. It's See, like you're going... You see, even when you're doing dog style, there are people who do very funny things, and that's why... Yeah, attack to straight. Yeah. Whereas there's motions that you can do, maybe as if you're coming on top. Yeah, sitting. The, that's why we say there are styles, yeah. there are types, and then there are positions. Because one style of sex can have so many variations of styles. Actually, of, with of me, positioning. styles are just four. Yeah. Styles are four. Side by side, mm-hmm. on top. But I think we'll discuss that when you mm-hmm. come to styles. So, Okazim, I don't really think everyone, at least, 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 Yes, that is it's a very thing. sad state of affairs. And do you know, having sex and not I, I having think we, we, we need to come to a point one day, although that one now is also a bit deeper. Mm. Because anyway, you cannot reach this level. And uh, whatever you have, if you have not reached about these three levels that we, have, we are talking about, yeah. ecstasy. Yes. Oh my goodness. People one, need um, to because you cannot. You know, you know, I saw another one and he researched and he could not get into ecstasy. You know, because if you go there, mm mm. Uh-uh. Then my friend, you cannot even reach ecstasy. My favorite definition of ecstasy is this: it's like you're feeling a feeling that you're about to feeling to feel a feeling that you've never felt, and ecstasy <laughs> never ends. No one has ever reached the climax of ecstasy. Oh, you all, yeah. you're always feeling like no, this cannot be over. It's like you've you've had, I don't know. It's true. It's like feeling a feeling that you're about to feel a feeling that you've never felt or you've never felt. Ecstasy, no one, I don't think there's an end to ecstasy or acti- achieving climax. Or the and once of you, you you reach, because ecstasy calls for complete vulnerability. Yeah. Ile tu, ile complete. Yani, ni kujipeana. Even on orgasm. Yeah. If you want to reach good orgasm and squat, you need to be vulnerable, mm-hmm. completely vulnerable. Mm-hmm. And mind you, you might be so easily vulnerable. Ufika bako jikuto mefika ecstasy. Yeah. And when whereby you're having multiple orgasms, you reach that level easily. Yani, unakuta, ame injakurate, ame fika orgasm, o ume fika orgasm, ume squat twice or thrice, but you're still continuing with the journey. Yeah. The journey has not ended. That is now where... You, Okay, that one is ecstasy. But now, on orgasm, the other thing that most people tend, if you are having it some time back, and you're not having it now, you can also be checked. Because, for example, there are people who have gone through maybe um, delivery. Mm. You need to check on what really happened. Uh, you can check, maybe you can go for a medical checkup. If completely, yani, umejaribu kila kitu na, ime, na nikupotea. Maybe you are having it before you do, you got a delivery. But all of a sudden, it has disappeared. Like it has decided to disappear kapisa kapisa. Yani, you're not getting it anymore. Then on that one again, I can advise. You need to go for a gynecologist checkup. Uangaleo kakuna mahali, pengine uki, with the tear and tear, maybe there was something. But at the same time, orgasm is the best that you can have in yeah. this world. Yeah. Squatting is the best thing. And it's normal to pee and squat at the same time sometimes. Pee? Squat? Yeah, because when you're pushing the squat out, sometimes you can pee a little bit. Yeah. If your bladder is full. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Yes. But but you know also it is very healthy to pee uh, immediately after, after sexual sex, yes, sex yes, encounter yes, because uh, it, cre- it cleans your urethra. Mm. And if there was some infection, all those bacteria are, mm. are going to be thrown mm. out. You cannot easily get a UTI, that is a, a urinary tract infections. infections, as well as even some of these things. Mm. But mommy, th- th- there is always this, I, I don't know, I think you'll be better in this one. Mm-hmm. Whereby, what is the relationship? And that is the question most people ask. Orgasm, 
-hmm. squatting mm -hmm. and coming. Okay. What do you think about that? Personally, I feel like, first of all, there's no pressure in squatting. I really need to emphasize on that because I, I think um, it has recently become a topic of discussion, openly, mm -hmm. open discussion for people to say, oh, I squatted, oh, he made me squat. Okay, first of all, no one makes you squat. You can naturally squat. It's just that you don't know how or where to be touched in order to squat. Mm -hmm. The person that made you squat is someone who knows if they intentionally did it. It's someone who maybe has experienced it before, has researched or has done it before with someone else and they have learned how to do it. But naturally, sometimes you even squat, sometimes you even squat by accident. Mm -hmm. You accidentally squat. It's on a video. Sometimes you even squat accidentally. You don't even realize that yeah. it's happening. Yeah. Now, I need people to understand. Coming is just naturally when a man ejaculates and when a woman has those spasms. You know that's the normal spasms that we call I have come. Yeah. Orgasm, like we say, is more of a mental, spiritual, whole body experience. You can have sexual pleasure without having an orgasm and not squatting. For you to be sexually, to say what you're sexually satisfied, in a sense, every sexual experience, you most people have to come. Most people actually have to ejaculate for the men and for the woman to have that coming feeling yeah. where your vagina contracts, your vaginal muscles contract. Now, squatting is a way of coming. It is not an orgasm, it's a way of coming. And and uh, more so, as I had said, it might be a clear liquid. I also want to state it can be a screen. There's some people who don't release the clear liquid. It's milky. It's milky. They release a very milky thing that is very, very clear. It is part of now, that is now the calm for the lady yeah, that's as well. Calm, yeah, yeah. Mm. and uh, that is part of their squatting, mm. that is. Because you see, the, uh, the squatting is the act. And the white stuff, <laughs> just a bit. Because sometimes white discharge can be a sign of candidiasis or any yeast infection. Yeah. So that is not to be confused with the white liquid you're talking about. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because sometimes you will be having sex with a woman and in the beginning her discharge or, or her lubrication, her, lubri her lube, natural lube is very clear. But Mumbi, there, there is this thing. Eh? Uh, I, I, I don't mean to offend. Yeah. So if you don't have it, don't be like that. I hear men saying it, and I wanted to hear from you. <laughs> Ati, I had this lady, and most of they say for ladies who are beyond 30, mm -hmm. that when you put your, your, like your penis in, and then you remove it, in a toka kama in a kama What is that? It glistens. That's just lubricant. But there's, are there ladies who have some different uh, lubricant uh, part of it whereby yani, when you put it in you see the liquid the, 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 the liquid uh, oil eh? yeah in a talk to you and if you're looking at your knee mm. you're like hey it looks even as if you know the the, the, yeah. the lubrication mm. i don't believe i don't know whether it is dieting or what with I, some ladies it could be diet Yes, because there are foods you can eat to change uh, to increase your lubrication. Also, note John once mentioned or severally has mentioned that a woman goes through uh, different stages during the cycle, our monthly cycle. Yeah. During those different four stages of our cycle, we have different discharge. Mm -hmm. That is normal. Yeah. Sometimes it's it's like um it's like mucus. It's clear, but it's very thick mucus. Sometimes it's milky. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's, uh, first of all, if it smells bad, fishy, or has any bad odor, that's bad. You have that's an infection, so go and something. see a gynecologist. If it comes off as, uh, if you spot, spot is like having little stains of blood on your underwear or panty liner when, you, you know, when you're not on your period. Yeah then there's a problem. Go see a diner. But if it's milky, sometimes it's thicker than other times, sometimes it's just very light. Once I during ovulation, it is always thicker. Yeah, during ovulation, it's very thick because it needs to hold the sperm. Yeah. Ovulation is when your body is telling you, I need a, a baby. Or I need to be fertile. Like, Na I need sperm. Naturally, the body. You know, in fact, even that at that time, the hormone that is called coupling mm. is more higher. Yeah. 
and uh, that is the time na wewe mwili wako pengine kwanza when some ladies when they having ovulation the, their body naturally they are on heat yeah they on heat on coats they are honey yeah. naturally nobody has touched them they are mm-hmm. and then na size on your body unachokozwa na wanaume why mm-hmm. because you are releasing a hormone that is called caprin that can only be felt by the nose of a man mm-hmm. I, i don't know from those people who come from my tribe there is a way we say a cow when a cow wants yeah there is a way we say ena muruki yeah. you know it is not an abusive language but that is naturally where it can only be felt by the nose of a man and Do that you know is, yes and that is the time also a lady has a more uh, a more thick lubrication and a woman will be more confident with yeah. uh, 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 with matters of self esteem and all that a woman will feel sexier a woman will be confident sexier will feel more uh, will have the urge to seduce it's not it's not conscious it's not a conscious urge it's on your touch it's very subconscious you'll find that she's walking a certain <laughs> that's why she wants to dress nicely and dress dress sexy she wants to be to she's attract. at her peak of of, yeah. of what reproduction is that is that is uh, so so those are some of the things you need to notice so that you can be able to know at least my lady does this and as you have said it on these stages as i said them on the same note on orgasm and squatting if yesterday she took two minutes at a certain particular stage he kwanza nyu unampepeta kupepeta 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 my friend yeah. at that particular stage she might not even reach a squatting level mm-hmm. but at least she has reached mm-hmm. orgasm mm-hmm. so you need also to learn to be satisfied with what you are getting mm-hmm. Stop with those peer pressure. Yeah. Unajua mimi wangu anifikishagi au oh, sijawahi mm. fika. Everybody is created differently. And I would say that. Also, yeah. you remember John kuna time I said that before you le- you make a man learn your body and you know claim that this man does not make me come, this man does not. Do you even know how you are supposed to come? Do you know what he can do to stimulate you? Do you know what part of your body? You know, you remember I said kila mtu ajijue kwanza ajijue. Yeah, so, that's true. Before before you get to that part once i mean once you know yourself you will know that during this time of the month this is how i feel you can train yourself since you have the know how you know okay this during this time i don't feel like having sex but you can train yourself in a way that you can enjoy sex any time of the month Mm-hmm. whether you you on your period whether you're ovulating whether whatever stage of the month you of your you cycle are, you, you are, are at you can always have amazing exciting and wholesome sex thank you for watching this is mawazo my name is bombi wanjiro this is one of the most exciting topic for me that i can speak hours <laughs> and hours and hours because anyway if she squats if she reaches orgasm yes if myself i reach orgasm yes if i feel that that i'm ejaculating as well as i'm reaching orgasm it is the best feeling ever and although the journey is important as well this one which is the destination is very very important this is john waga to keep it here subscribe leave a comment let's know what you think and what you understand bye